Hello guys and welcome to the great giveaway. So today we're going to be doing the crate giveaway, the second crate giveaway. Uh, uh, hashtag WR win uh, crate two. I might be doing uh, a duo, or am I wrong with the squad? Uh, just don't forget to drop your ID uh, in the comments. Okay, um, just get everything set up straight away and then uh, we'll go into that. I'm gonna be doing things newly. Um, I'm gonna be doing uh, a bit more. Um, should I say learning? Should I say teaching? I don't know. Um, stuff that you know maybe newer players can um, benefit from, or maybe the old players. But I, I want to do something that is gonna be a little bit more beneficial overall. Um, than just uh, than just uh, videos. Okay, I know um, people love the videos. People people love um, to see the stream going uh, and so on. But so I'm going to stream, but more or less, uh, I might be delving into different aspects of the game. Just like different, different aspects, different, different aspects, different, different aspects. Um, you know, that's what I'm gonna be doing. And so people like kind of know, like, okay, this is what I should do here. This is what I should do here. This is what I should do here. You know, that that kind of a thing. Um, I am thinking that that might be more beneficial in the long run. Um, uh, and that's it. See if there's anyone that's gonna join uh, on this duo.
Hey, saludo. Orochi Devastator is a good build. Um, Orochi Devastator. Oro yeah, it is. It is a good build. Why not? Orochi Devastator is very good. Orochi Hell. Um, Orochi Devastator is a very good build. Very, very good build. It is. It is actually a very good build. I don't know if these guys are on like or on right now. I don't know who's on. Um, oh, hello, JK. Uh, let me give it to JK. Maybe he'll come back. So. Uh, I'll tend to be looking into things like uh, different different kind of builds, like he's saying, Orochi Devastator. And then we need to equip that build, go into a small game, see how it works, that kind of thing. I'll I'll be like very hands-on. Um, that's what I want to do. Like for real. Um, only builds that I do not have uh, in my hangar that I will not be able to test. For any build that I can test like I'm gonna go straight up and just do it yeah uh, glor uh, glory is a good glory is a, a very good weapon um, it doesn't choke as quickly as the storm which they nerfed into oblivion so um, that's the good thing and it still dishes out a very very good um, it's it still I still have two incinerators I'm thinking about how to build it incinerators are good um, but the thing with what they are doing now uh, is that we, we can duo GK, we can duo. Um, so, yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. So, um, what is happening is that most what, what they're doing now is that if you don't have something maxed, um, it might not work. <laughs> you know, if you don't have something maxed, it might not work. So, you have a uh, I am now squad leader and I have the moon. So, uh, that's okay. So, if you have um, um, incinerator, like you're saying, wow, how do you not have the moon anymore? Okay. So, um, if you uh, have the incinerator, if you don't push it to max, you know, the last video I did, uh, okay, the last video I did was. Uh, I think that that video that was the first of, of, of many in a series that I'm gonna start like kind of edu educational like if someone comes into war robots do you okay uh, Adrian is very good um, whether we like it or not Adrian is very good I don't know the kind of content he's putting out now but Adrian is a fantastic uh, um, youtuber so I want I would like someone that you know I would like to be that kind of person that people can look up to and say okay I don't know what to do this is what I should do you know like a real doctor now, people don't know that they can come to me and you know and I can help them with stuff a lot of people don't know that because I have not positioned myself that way yet and it's something that I'm looking you know, forward to, to doing because I can do it so why not being able to play to show people is a very different thing Gameplay, you know, is a very different thing from know-how. Know-how and gameplay are two different things. You know, the one that knows something is not necessarily the one that can best do it. And so you don't, you never have to forget that. Because at the end of the day, everyone is different. Every doctor is different. You know, we all qualify. You're a doctor. He's a doctor. Some doctors have magic hands, whether we like it or not. <laughs> Anything he touches, like any patient, he's gonna heal them, you know. And the other guy is just like struggling, and this guy just touched him, and it worked. He was able to do the surgery perfectly, or whatever, whatever, you know, that kind of thing. Is what I'm trying to say. So it's all it's a completely different thing entirely. It's nice to show. I mean. I mean, it's really nice to show that okay, I can actually do it. But that does not stop the fact that the knowledge is there. 
you know, you, you have the knowledge. It doesn't stop that fact. Oh, GK is here. Thank you, GK. This guy is dead. Boom. <laughs> so that, this Hawk build, for example, the Hawk, Jesus Christ. Oh, I shouldn't have let him. I should have clicked on it. That shell build, for example, you saw what that shell did before they could take it down. That shell build is magnificent. Like, you know, I could be giving all those kind of secrets. Oh, he gave the actual secrets. Things that uh, people take for granted or they don't really care. Yeah, those things are there. But then there's also the equipment. Okay. At the end of the day, it's whoever you're, you're meeting. You could, you could be the best player in this game. Like, but Pixel could just, you know pair you with someone whose robot you cannot really kill or whose whose build you cannot do anything to and he just messes you up so it's all about who you meet most of the time you know who you meet is, is just gonna destroy you so I'm busy going completely full attack I should have actually launched my Sharanga right now I'm going after that hawk oh shit he hit very well I am just waiting for him to come up. Okay. Wait to get that beacon. Ooh, they launched the Titan, so it's not it's not gonna be possible anymore. I'm gonna kill this this one. I'm looking for a ton of trouble. Uh, and I'm playing with randoms, so this might not be the best way. This might not be the best uh, method. You know? What am I doing? Wasting my... I'm playing as if I'm playing with a different drone. I'm still using my bloody nebula. Okay, let's see how this works. Launch. Boom. What? Shouldn't have escaped that. Is that a hawk? Because I just have to be wary about hawks. Possibly that may. Someone should take care of that. Ah, oh, boom. That's it, that's it. Well, yeah, it is gonna be difficult. <laughs> oh my god, it is gonna be difficult. The intensity I have, not everyone is sharing it. And when, when everyone is not on the same page, then... Uh, you, 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 you guys are bound to suffer, man. Everyone's not on the same page. I'm going with maximum intensity. So now I see that I need to really help my teammates with the. Um, I need to go. I need to kill that. I need to kill that thing. Shit, knock down. Someone should kill that titan. If they could kill our titans, then we need to kill theirs. You're dead, man. No! And this Demeter is, is on a rampage. <laughs> Killing spree. Yeah, I like the Minos, man. The Minos is, uh, makes a ton of sense. Even the, the Mings are somewhat back now. 1, 2, 3, 4, JK, 4, 6. Can I get in there? Yes. yes. Dancing Fafnir. Let me give him some space so we could actually kill him. Nice okay, so that was it. I rushed a little bit. Boy, it was uh, worthwhile at the end. We took them out. Lone Spanker! You're gonna spank people alone! Uh, it is. Uh, we're doing well. Come on, I can't target my friend! Are you kidding me? I'm pressing the button, it's not working. <laughs> I can't target the guy to, to go help him. It's been a problem with the Demeter from day one. I don't know. Even with the Northern Skinder. Jesus Christ. Wow. I killed 15 people. Like really? I'm still talking and I'm killing 15 people? <laughs> That's crazy.
Yeah, but I'm just talking here and just streaming and just killing people. Wow. I never knew it went up to 15. <laughs> I almost killed half of them. Maybe I should have gotten up to 20. <laughs> yeah, so I, I just think that I should be able to do something different uh, with the knowledge, uh, with the game knowledge I have and with the uh, capacity you know there are so many people that come out here and then you're just running stuff and they don't really even understand like basics so it's gonna be difficult there are gonna be people that feel they know better and they don't you know why they don't take that initiative i don't know but it don't, i don't care about that it's not about the other people who feel that they're better it, it's about those that i feel that i can or not, that can benefit that i can help that's all why do you think you're gonna kill me or why you kill me? I think I should be able to get that beacon. Come on, this guy's gonna kill me. That Orochi is gonna kill me. So no matter the kind of build you're running, um, the hell, <laughs> it's a horrible, it's a horrible, horrible, uh, um, unless I have a friend here. It's, it's like you playing a Scorch. See that? It's a horrible, uh, it's an anti-build, uh, just an anti-build so like I said no matter how good you are there's this you see that he's just peeling away at me hey predator how are you doing I can't kill it because I need to get yeah I need I need it to come down yep ah, come on now it's gonna die shit really hmm that is crazy so if I if I wasn't maxed, that guy would that guy would have killed me straight away. No, oh, why did you come down? Now? That's bad. I didn't want to come down. It's just a mistake. Why would I go down when I knew that he was just coming? I just wanted to hide, and then mistakenly press the button. It happens to a ton of people. It happens to me a lot of the time. Trying to switch, you know, ends up ends up pressing my uh, modules a ton a lot of the time, uh, and it's costly. It can be costly. A little mistake can be very costly in this game. I like how that scorpion just dropped from that guy's head. I love it how that scorpion just dropped. Well, we are three here. And they should be getting more beacons. But somehow, I don't know what they're doing. We are the ones getting more beacons, which is weird because we're just three here. I cannot believe it. Those guys didn't attack any extra beacons. This is the first, uh, the first bunch going out to attack the beacons. This is what, you know, these this guys don't understand it. This is what, what happens when people don't understand what's going on. We were three on that one beacon. Like, uh, they should have gotten more beacons. It's just, uh, what is that guy doing? Yeah, like we said, see that? He chased the Ming away and he was about getting that beacon if I didn't drop. And that's one thing with the game. If, if you see that, you can drop, drop, and go for your beacon. When you lose the beacon, you're losing the game. <laughs> it's what people don't understand. I don't know. People just play, oh, I'm keeping my robot. My robot didn't die. I had 10 robots left. Yeah, but you lost the damn beacon. You couldn't go back and get the beacon. <laughs> and so you lost the game. Like, now we're still in control if you can see the beacon bar. Um... I don't know, it's very difficult to get the right skin for this game. Um, I don't want, I don't really like, this. some of the skins are very nice. I'm, I, I, I kind of have some kind of hybrid skins, but the other skins are a little bit costly. Yeah, they are a little bit pricey. It's not that I cannot get them. I, I have a ton of skins and each, each time I keep buying them, they don't work. Like, I buy them and I notice that they're still blurry, they're still, you know, obscuring things. So it's a little bit, hey, uh, John, how are you? Hola. So it's a little bit uh, upsetting. Uh, oh, I'm going to die. It's a little bit upsetting in that regard. He is killing me. Okay, so what do I do now? He's going where? What am I doing on the home beacon? What are those guys doing on the home beacon? They're chasing people at the home beacon? I think I need this guy now. Oh, no. They just lost it. Jump, 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 go, go, go. Oh, it's a minus at our home beacon. 
Yeah, this guy brought a miner to come check the people at home. Okay, leave him alone. He's gonna kill the mink. Hold the, hold the, hold the beacon a little bit. My Sharanga is gonna be hopeless because I have this uh, uh, Bulava thing. Yeah, that minus is gone. End of the minus. End of the minus. Kill him. Ugh, I need to kill the hawk. Jeez, man, you got too close. Those glories are gonna be doing a number. Okay, good. Uh, I can't protect you until five seconds. So be aware of that Ming before I can come back. Okay, good. That was good. Good Arthur. Good game. I can't help you again until how many seconds more? Wow, this guy is on lockdown and is literally bruising the shit out of me. I need to avoid. I need to evade. Taking a ton of beacons. Three seconds before I can get this Arthur back. And he's, uh, he doesn't know. I'm gonna protect him. So he's hiding a little bit. This guy is just here to cause a ton of trouble. That hawk is gonna brutalize everyone in this thing. I can't get him. So this is why I want a hell. Uh, this is why I want a hell. Uh, um, is it hell? Scadi. This is why I want a Scadi. Uh, whatever. A Scadi Demeter. You know. See that? He's up again. This is why I want a Scadi Demeter. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything here. If someone comes out again, then we might be in trouble. Oh no, that's a waste. That end guy is still there. And if I get locked down, then I might be in serious trouble. Shit. I hope it's not a Titan that is bruising again. Oh my god, it's a Demeter. Should be able to get this guy once he's down. He's running away. No, why don't you stay there and shoot me? anyone killing me, you know? That's why you need Demeters. This is why you need Demeters in the squad. No one was protecting me. <laughs> and and I, I didn't really want to go out because I didn't know what was out there. And we have two Demeters? No, it's uh, exactly attacking our own Demeter. We won the game though, we were able to hold more beacons before they could recover. And uh, to be honest, this is how I play. I, this is my strategy. If you notice, I try to get the beacons early and then we hold out. Uh, sometimes we cannot hold out and then they overpower us. Fine, that's okay, but at least you, you know, you gave yourself a chance, a fighting chance, and uh, in War Robots, that is the game. If you want to come back, <laughs> it's not always the, it's not always the best strategy. And to be honest, um, I don't think if that is a strategy at all. No one thinks that oh, I'm gonna go into this game, um, you know, four beacons down, and then we come back and win. No, no one goes into the game thinking like that. So that's not a strategy. So the best way is always. Attack the beacons early. <laughs> we are facing Grim and the other TGR guys, I'm sure. 
Okay, Grim, this is gonna be interesting. What are you doing? You wanna get the beacon? Why are you shooting him? I don't know what your shots mean. I just want to kill this guy. <coughs> I don't think I have a chance of getting that beacon as long as he's around, so I think I should just kill him first. Ah, come on! I don't know, sometimes you can't get one shot in, just one shot. He's gonna blast away. Good. Now you need to start running because I know you can't get that. You can start running to the other one. That's grim! <laughs> That's grim! Uh, we have someone running for the center beacon. Hello, grim. I'm gonna kill you. Someone is going in there for that center beacon. Wow, he survived. Jesus. Dude, what was your roti made of? That was nice. And GK is gone. GK is disconnected. He's not playing. Oh no. Oh no, he's disconnected. He is completely disconnected. If we go in there now, we're just gonna. It's suicide. If, if, like, in this kind of situation, if you go in there, it's suicide. Unless you have people. You try to hold position. If you go in there, it's suicide. You're gonna die. Unless you have backup and you just, you know, uh, you're, you know that your robot is expendable and you actually wanna go kill it, you know? Otherwise, too many people shooting at you. Only maybe possible with a shell and uh, shell and ah oh shit! I got the two last time already before I press the button. That's not cool. Now I couldn't heal. Thank you. Alright, we killed him. Okay, let's start causing trouble. Ah, the end guy. <laughs> Again. I should be able to kill this guy. Ah, he's using, uh, he's using 200 meter weapons. So if I stay close, he's really gonna do a number. I can't heal from that. Come on, man. He locked me down. Shift. He's coming very close. Yeah, he took me to last end because um, I'm, I'm allowing him to hit me. Hello, Ramana. Ah. I got too close. Oh, you, came down. you cannot just take down that Fenry, I think. That Fenry should be able to hold down. Someone is really doing a number on me. <laughs> but oh, you guys are on a duo. I knew it was another thing here. Shit. Yeah, this match is gonna be tough. These two guys are monsters. Damn it. These two guys are monsters. Oh my god, this is a waste of time. I just wasted my time. Hope no one is coming with a Dimitri. Three people are here. I see three of three blue people are here. There's a Faf near circling above. Is it worth it? We lost all the beacons. You see what I'm saying? When you play with another team that knows what they're doing, three people on the beacon is a loss. You see what you see what's happening? Because you're three, you're all here, you know, and they took all the beacons. It, it's very simple. Like uh, it's just this is normal, but people don't know this thing. If you're playing in a squad and you have three people, it's coming to stop me. <laughs> it's coming to stop me, stop boss. Are you kidding?
I have been, uh, <laughs> I have been, uh, what do you call it? The damn end guy again. I have been limited to, to home beacon. No, I'm not gonna let you. GK early. I think duos, uh, I don't think uh, the Sharanga might be as useful as uh, the Minos. Um, they're in a team game. Um, in a team game, lost connection here, yeah, I and mean, I can see that. In a team game, you can coordinate. The Sharangas are good. Um, but when you're not in a team, it's not easy. It's better if you can, you know, take matters into your your hands, and that way um, it makes a little bit more sense. Okay, and there we run four. I see where everyone slipped off to. Robert Gerald. Robert Gerald. I didn't even share, I didn't share this on Facebook. Jesus Christ. How could I share this on Facebook? That's the first place you're supposed to share your things. Um, things like this. So, how are you doing, Robert? Uh, so, what is happening now is that we're already in a squad. Um, we know each other. We know what we're supposed to do. So, uh, we are going to run like machines right now. Because we are, everyone knows what to do already. Um, for four of us, we already have our job settled. So these four people, this is not the first time we're squatting. We know exactly what we're supposed to do. Everyone knows what to do, and that's why we're just running the way we're running. Don't be surprised. <laughs> when no one comes, but everyone knows what exactly they're supposed to do. A different squad, then I would say, okay. Uh, no, we don't know what to do, but for this particular squad, everyone knows exactly what they're supposed to do. No, no, no. what I mean is the, the guys in my squad, like the guys I'm squatting with right now, if you notice we didn't say anything, I don't know if they're listening in, but um, it doesn't matter, we already know what to do, like everyone's jobs is settled. So, now we're squatting, we already know exactly what each, each and everyone is going to do, that's what I mean. And, and that's what you need for squads. If you're going to play squads, you need to know what the other guy is going to do. Or otherwise you're not squatting. You're wasting your time, man. <laughs> you're, not, you're not squatting. That's not a squad. You're, you're, you're randoms. You're just a random, you know, you're just a random with someone in the clan. Yes, it, it means we're from. It means we have done our homework. Not just being familiar, we've done our homework. We, we've, uh, we've settled on the strategy, this is what we're going to do. And... Uh, as I see them now, I know that exactly um, the plan is going to be followed, and then it looks like, um, you know, it looks like we're actually on comms or we're planning something. No, we're not. We're already in. Um, it's different if we're facing a clan that is more powerful than we are. Um, of course, you don't need um, too much knowledge to use an over overpowered equipment, right? It's like holding a machine gun. I don't care how knowledge knowledgeable you are with the small pistol. If there if you don't have the range, dude, you're not gonna do anything. The guy with the machine gun is just gonna whack you. Even if he just learned how to shoot yesterday. It's very simple. So equipment is good and that is number one. But number two is having a plan, knowing what to do. 
together. That helps loads. Um, sometimes you're gonna meet people with better equipment, and because you're organized, you kill them. Like you actually, you know, you stifle them. Oh, then I need this guy now. They took the home beacon, which is great. But the game is over. You see, before they realize what's happening, <laughs> the game is over. So what would you have done in that case? You know, that's the question that someone would ask. What would I have done? So what happens there is... Um, someone wants to join. Okay, that's interesting. This guy doesn't know what we're doing. Um, I don't think I've scored it with this guy before. But that's okay. So what would you have done? <laughs> when it when it happens like that, some some strong teams try. <laughs> they they try to pretend that look, not all is is bad, and they keep playing their thing. Sometimes they they get over it, and you guys bought out trying to hold the beacons that um, you have, and sometimes they lose completely in the, in, in a few minutes. It, it happens. If you're lethargic of the of the of the of the what do they call the thing? Of the bell, of the whistle. If you're if you're lethargic and the other guys, you know, move ahead of you, that's it. That's it. Come on. So right now we have one beacon, they have one beacon, and we are fighting for three beacons. And uh, I think I'm going to lose the race for this one. Um, this is a shell, and a very strong shell at that. It's not like the other shell that I was fighting with early. As you can see, <laughs> it's hiding. It's busy hiding and hiding and hiding. It's pointless. I just got killed. This is a much stronger team. They are actually everywhere right now. We are being overpowered, like straight away we are being overpowered. They are taking our beacons, they are going in and taking our beacons, like straight away. And they are not re even relenting. They are doubling down on the advantage, dropping more shell. And you can see what is happening right now. They are simply trying to bully us. It might have been different with a different squad. I'm gonna die. Can't survive that. The shell, shell deals 70k. <laughs> That's another blast that I could have avoided, but there's nothing I can do. We're just gonna try and hold the beacon here. If we can hold one beacon, two beacons, fair enough. Go, 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 move. <sighs> Why can't I move? Move! See, he came down <laughs> here, he's already down and, and firing at me. Ah. problems. Where was my shield? Well, it's nothing you can say. You don't need to have a shield. You might have a shield break. I get to last hand so quickly. It's happened quite a few games now, I don't know why. I just go to last hand real quickly. So they see what we're trying to do and they block it. There it goes, there it goes, squad. See, it goes, squad. They see that we're trying to change and they double down. They, they have two people here blocking this completely. Now I have the Demeter. It's the worst thing you can use to fight uh, a Fafnir with. <laughs> the Demeter. Especially my type of Demeter. That's why I don't that's why I want to switch to uh, for you guys that are watching now, I've been telling you I want to switch to uh Skadi. Now you can see why. This is the main reason. If I had a Skadi, I'll just sit down and shoot the same way he's doing. I'll just sit down and shoot. Now it's just busy disturbing me. Because I can't target. And before you know it now he's gonna drop me the last step. I can't even get a shot in. Ridiculous. 
No, don't don't drop your don't drop your ID now. Um, the range weapons are the best. That hawk was on range. He was busy shooting at me, and I'm busy struggling with 200 meters. They did well. They started well off the gate, and uh, go with flamethrowers and scardy. Yeah, it depends on the team. <laughs> it depends on the team. Um, for the hawk is good. For the hawk is very. Oh, he didn't boost. No, no. And I am out of boosters. Oof. Okay, maybe I'll just boost one more. Because I need to give you guys a chance to exactly. I need to give you guys a chance to drop your ID. Um, Sponge here. So I, I don't know if I'm going to uh, end, uh, like complete the 30 minutes, I guess I'll just have to, uh, I guess I'll just have to stop and I guess after this one I'll have to stop and let you guys have the chance to uh, drop your IDs in comment this way. That's another shell. What was he doing there? Maybe he dropped it. I'm gonna be dead now from that blast. Wow, I survived. Down real quick before he comes in here. No, focus on one. <laughs> focus on one. Stay out of range. Stay out of uh, his blast range, and then let's kill him. So again, we're doing damage control. Are you is uh, stronger than us right now? The squad I am with is not like the main squad. Yeah, so these guys are supposed to be overpowering us. As you can see, ton, tons of shell. Shell robot is what? Is it not no. So I only not stay at home. Oh, we're being bullied here. here. Thousand and one Fafnir. <laughs> I don't know, I don't have to drop this robot here. I don't want him to take the pumpkin. Again, more and more and more shield. Like, could you guys? Boom. No, man, I'm gonna kill him. I have to kill him. And then really I kill him, the next one is gonna drop him. And so that I don't take the beacon. Shit! I didn't survive. I guess we might squat with the main squad much later. I don't know. But those guys are seriously st they're still trying. Come on! Ah. They're still trying to take our home beacon and we're not giving, we're not allowing them to take it. Anyways, game over. That was fantastic. And that is what you call brute. When you when you meet brute force, that's how it that's how it happens. You just, uh, you, you know, the power is too much and there's nothing you can do. 
Shell, 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 shell. Yep, that's it. Two shell. All MK3. Maxed. Everything maxed. Fafnir, Skadi, all maxed. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit different. Uh, look at this guy, for example, in my clan. This is the difference. He's MK2. He's okay. Not fully maxed. But these other guys are fully maxed. And as I told you in the last stream, the difference is real. GK missed the game. The difference is is really um, is really um, and it, it it's really significant. The difference is significant, even with uh, just MK3 and maxed MK2. So talk less if you're not maxed MK2. The difference is really significant. Take it weapon by weapon, robot by robot, drone by drone, drone chips by drone. You know, so that difference is significant with fully maxed and non fully maxed. The difference is really significant. You go out there, you have your maximum output damage. You did very well. You tried a lot. You know, you did what you could do. And someone is fully maxed. He just goes out, has fun, and he scores a lot more. And you're like, what? You know? Um, the difference is significant. I was, I think, what was it I was doing? And then I was like, oh no. You know? Um, each robot, you know, factoring in each robot, each weapon. Just one by one. You will be surprised. How significant it is. <laughs> you know, you some people might not notice it, but it is very significant. Like it's horribly significant. Uh maxing stuff. It is very significant. You know what Pixonic will tell you that one weapon is five percent, correct? You know what five percent means <laughs> in out being out here. You know what five percent means, and then that's just one weapon. That's already five percent, right? And then some some robots have four weapons. Is that not twenty percent? If we can help get that beacon, fantastic. So. Sometimes um, in the game, there are some key beacons and they keep changing depending on who is where. The key beacon keeps changing. Uh, it's not set in stone that if you get this beacon, you're gonna win. No, it's not set in stone. It's never set in stone. Strong players, trust me, it's not 5%, it's 50%. It's up to 50%. <laughs> like I, I'm, I'm telling you, you don't notice it. You, you don't you, you don't notice it it's like 50 percent look at this we just got we just got this guy's five cap now where they're, they're struggling for one beacon and they're not going to get it because i don't see any of them here you know just look at this the same thing that happened to us in the last game it's it's up to 50 percent more the power difference like i told you factor one by one take it one weapon one weapon Two weapons, four weapons, five robots. Can you imagine the difference? MK2, MK2, uh, sorry, MK3, MK3 stuff. Imagine the difference, man. Then you go out and see the damage, the difference with the damage. It's up to 50%. No, Ramana, just wait a little bit. Um, um, it's up to 50%, but people don't think it's up to 50%. <laughs> but it is up to 50%. We're doing to these guys exactly the same thing the previous guys did to us exactly the same thing and th those guys couldn't five cap us because we know what's up <laughs> you know maybe we're not fully maxed but we know what's up so we don't let them five cap us but we five cap these guys completely because they are um um randoms like they're not coordinated we're not we're not like on comms we're not coordinated that to that level right now but we know what to do when we are in a squad and that's why those guys couldn't completely get all the all the beacons you know so I'm telling you the power difference is up to 50% but just one guy one guy alone why do you think um, why do you think when you meet full uh, powerful full squads you can't do anything why one guy alone is already 50% stronger if you calculate it 
is one guy alone is already 50% stronger. He has everything maxed. You know, if it is up to that. Oh, I don't, what the hell is up with this guy? <laughs> oh my god, this is interesting. To be honest, I don't know that guy's. <laughs> I don't know if that's the first time I've squatted with him. That is so funny. So when you meet some squads and then you end up beating them, uh, you see some people are celebrating. <laughs> They celebrate because they know how tough it is. Again, if not that this was this map, we would have got these guys 5 cap and we're gonna get them 4 cap. I'm telling you, if you're playing free for all, and another thing, free for all is where you learn a lot. Free for all is where you learn a lot. You're gonna see a lot of different. Um, uh, formations, I say formation, different combo. The word is combo. You're gonna see a ton of different combo, and it, it's gonna really help because you're gonna question. Oh no, the leech is a horrible, horrible. Um, the leech is horrible. Okay, kill him now. No, no, no. The leech is horrible <laughs> because you cannot escape it. You cannot escape it. I love this. Uh, I love this weapon. Like, look at this. Psst, psst. I, I love this part. I love that thing. Being able to spread that thing electric around. It's like uh, Magneto, right? <laughs> it's like it's like Magneto in X-Men. I love it so much. I love the weapon. I love Scourges. And um, for the fact that you can fire even without you know having any targets makes it uh, much more better for me than Scourges. I really like it. Two, three, and kill. You shouldn't be able to. So, see what happened again? We got them five cap even on this very difficult map to five cap anyone. We five cap these guys. Again, what the other guys did to us exactly the same thing. Um, when you meet the same, when you meet the same like power, same strength, then the game gets very exciting, and uh, you see how you know how much fun it is to actually outwit the other people, the other team. You know, you see how much fun there is. Well, when the power difference is not the same, um, you can't even start talking. <laughs> you you can't start talking. You cannot um, compete with a Lambo. You know, you cannot use your regular car and compete with a Lambo. You cannot. They, they, they don't. Um... Hey, Ranger, how are you doing? <laughs> this guy is very funny. Okay, so what, what what brought me to this was I was trying to say I'm gonna change. Wow. Hey, Ranger. Wow, that's interesting. I had 38 subs. Jesus Christ. Wow. That is very interesting. Yes, Ranger. Yes, yes, yes. I agree. Ranger, yes, yes, yes. I, uh, yeah, I agree with you. You are correct. You are very correct. Wow, that is quite interesting. <laughs> That's uh, some history and some perspective. Yeah, Ranger, I'm trying to see how I can change um, the content that I put out to be something more educational. Because I have the, the, the know-how as much as anyone in this game. If anyone has it, I have it. You know? And so why not put the things out there and uh, help people? You know, instead of just putting out OP stuff and then they don't know what's going on. Um, that's what I feel that I can do very well. And that's what I feel that I should do. And that is the... Uh, and, that is that, and, that, and that is what I'm trying to see how... You know how I can change 
so that the live streams are not just me streaming gameplay but actually coaching sorta and trying to let you understand some tactics or why certain things are happening the way they're happening and how you can change how you can uh, how you can uh, mitigate it yeah I'm just trying to see how Where is he going? He's running around and we are just blocking them. For, oh my god. And they're not getting any beacons. It's very unfortunate. But that's how it is. If the other guys don't understand what's happening or they are completely overpowered. Which is not the aim of squatting for me. I, I don't like it but there's nothing you can do. These guys are not even on any beacon. As you can see, they are not even interested in coming to a beacon. So uh, sometimes I don't know why they play. I really don't sometimes. Like, none of them are on a beacon or challenging a beacon. I came here from my home beacon and there was nobody here. <laughs> it's a little bit weird sometimes. Yeah, okay, like we said before, what happens is when this kind of thing happens, you need to abandon. Like, abandon the beacon. Leave it and see how you can maneuver. It's difficult in this map. It's very difficult. This kind of map is too small for you to maneuver without being seen. And you need to have the possibly pilot skills and the robot as well. You need good speed, maneuver, run over to their beacon, to their, their home beacon, hope that they don't see and, and take one and possibly take two and switch the game on his head. Then they start thinking and, and that's how you, you get yourself... Wow. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so funny. And that's how you get yourself back in the game, sorta, you know? This is how you get yourself back in the game. If you want to sit back and start defending as they're coming in, it's impossible. Especially if you're playing Beacon Rush. They, they're gonna be, you know, am I kicked? You're not kicked, my friend. You just said you're high already. So, the best way to, to do it is to um, avoid them, like if they're all on one beacon, like you got possibly, hopefully not four capped or something, you need to you need to run away, stop possibly dropping and to defend that beacon, try and wait for a friend to go get, grab another beacon and then drop from that other point and then let them start thinking and then when you distract them this way then you try and go back and get your beacon. But if you don't have the equipment to do it, if you don't have the resources to do it, then you're in trouble. Yeah, and that's why people build certain bills. Ingo is a tough customer. Maybe they're a duo, I don't know. Now he sees that it's an Orochi, then he comes. But what is he doing? He's waiting. I'm gonna go with him. I'm not gonna give him the chance to. I'm gonna try to build him down. Guys, leave him alone. Leave him, leave him. Okay, that's good. Um, try and drop the try and drop the comments. Try and drop the comments. Uh, yeah, take it out. Okay. Okay, we drop the hold it. Can you drop the comment after the after the video? Um, oh shit! This is war robots for you, man. Like, I can't change my robots anymore. I cannot change. This is interesting. I have no method of talking to the guys, and uh, I'm out. You kick me out, and that can that is enough to change the game. That is enough to change the game. If they keep attacking, they'll lose all their robots. So at this point, they need to sit back and defend and hold, if possible, hold the two and, and hope that this guy doesn't cross to the home beacon or, or, or don't get distracted enough to go after him and just uh, focus on the, the other two. It's, a it's very difficult. Yep, something happened and it's like, G -g 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 -g, and that's it. Uh, and I, I didn't even drop my, my shell. 
damage. Are you kidding me? How does it work? How do you get back into this thing? This is ridiculous. Someone needs to go to their beacon while, they keep, while they're coming here, but it's difficult because they have Fenry there and they're here. This is ridiculous. This, would, this, is, this is impossible. I was taking the game to them. There's no way this would have happened. Ah. Losing one person changes everything. It changes a lot. They know that. So they're just going to be trying and do damage mitigation at this point. And that's it. They're going to try to hold to, which is just completely wrong. Grim, back, back. Don't, don't. Grim, you need to go back. ODB doesn't. I don't think ODB is going to stand. You know, we're stretching us up there. Someone helped ODB. And now Grim is in no man's land. helped out ODB and now we uh, begin struggling for the uh, home beacon. This is going to be interesting if we end up winning. EXO is a tough customer and that's why I got very aggressive at the beginning. And somehow, I don't know, they got back in. Maybe it happens to one of them also and then it balances out. Because I remember in the other game, um, GK was just there, he he got kicked out. Carmen Franco, um, this is what happens. Um, a lot of you, maybe, I don't know if you're new to the stream, I hope not. But what happens is this, you have to uh, quote a timeline at one colon, two hours or two hours, ten minutes, you know, something happened blah 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 whatever happened happened and this is what happened and then you write it down and you do the hashtag uh, hashtag win crate 2 hashtag war about win crate 2 people don't need to be here guys uh, Grim maybe you need to switch because Asian is here with his uh, if you're hearing me Grim you need to switch out you need to switch out and get to that beacon Switch out. Hey, all of you are on, on the same beacon. Switch out. So you need to... Um, oh my god. Those titans are just there for the taking. So you need to... You need to... Need to switch out. You need to write the... Um, um, the hashtag. But you need to quote the time, timeline. Like, what time is it? What time is it? What happened? Write it down. Write down the hashtag. That's how you win. That's how you get selected. If you don't put down the timeline, you just put the war about win crate. It's not going to be good enough. You know what? I can't even like go to another. Like I can't even focus on a different person and go there. Those guys are going to lose the game. They dropped uh, two very slow titans, and we were able to move in and um, gain advantage. And man, we lost another one. It's coordination, it, uh, more, more or less coordination. If we knew that this beacon is now key here, because they have three of them here. If we drop two titans here, take out these guys, that's it. Game over. Well, we just gave them back. It's not easy, we don't know what they're doing that way as well. that hawk man. Can someone get in and kill that hawk? Sometimes you need a scorpion. Just a simple scorpion. That hawk is just hiding. <laughs> He's just hiding. Oh my god. He 
he's ready to jump again. Oh, he got killed. Good. So, like, when you quote, when you want to quote the timeline, um, you know, you know, like the time in in the game. Um, sorry, in the game. The time in the in the in the video, like the time. Yes, something like that. Yes, 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 something like that. So you write that down, and then you put the hashtag, and then that's perfect. That's fantastic. Grim, Arthur. He needs a Demeter. He needs a Demeter right now. He could do with a Demeter right now. That was not easy. I think they put it out. This one is going to the wire, man. <laughs> this guy's held out. They held out for almost eight minutes in the game. I, I lost, uh, my I lost my ability to to come back in the game. Lost and to get back in. It's very unfortunate. And it's not even letting me like switch to who else. It's just giving me one just just giving me one um one view. And we held out to the end uh, to the end man. G good game guys. We held out to the end. It, it would have been different if I was there. It would have been very different. Because we and Exo are evenly matched, and so you see how the games tend to go to the wire. Yep, I didn't do anything, and uh, I didn't do anything, it just kicked me out. Yeah, you see, he doesn't know that we have a plan, <laughs> and so he's telling a plan. Okay, so let me, let me talk to him. Oh my god. I don't know who he is, like I said, this is the first time that we squatted with him. It's not even allowing me to kick the squad battle. He is not allowing me to hit squad battle. Dude. Oh my goodness. Man, why is war robots like this? <laughs> it, it's so... Well, that was that was horrible. That was uh, that was horrible. Like you just sit down there and watch, <laughs> uh, and you know the strength of, of the team out there, and it's uh, that was horrible to watch. There's no way we should have been losing that. Um, guys, just wait for the stream to. Okay, what I'm gonna do is that. Um, this, this is not a free. This is not a free for all setup. This is not a good free for all setup. I would have gone into free for all. Oh, just invite me back for one more game. That's it. Then I'll let you guys put in your uh, put in your IDs, and then uh, good luck to five winners. So again, I'm I'm trying to see how I can switch my content completely um, from just streaming, streaming, streaming for the sake of streaming and streaming and uh, educating. I'm I'm gonna see how how that's gonna work. Yes, 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 Ed Safo, it's a live giveaway. It's a giveaway, of course. If you got notified, well, that is fantastic. That is good because it is true. It is a giveaway, but um, I'm seeing maybe I could run one more game um, before um, I drop off. Sometimes I, I, I do things like this. I, I like opening stuff, so maybe I'll just open it and then I'll just end. Um, maybe I'll just end. For the give no, it's Afo. It's not going to work here. Wait, let the video um, finish, and then you drop your um, and then you drop your ID at that point. Now it's not going to work. Yeah. And I got Alex Werner. Okay. 
not the best uh, pilot. <laughs> not the best pilot at all. Do I have openings here? I have eight here, maybe one here. One. What do I get? Components? I hope not. Oh no, it's components. <laughs> I don't need any of these components. I don't need any of these components. Um, what do I have here? 150? Wow, amazing. So I'm going to open one of each um, box again for you guys. I don't know, this thing never gets old. Might be boring, but it's fun to... Typical Warbus stream. <laughs> Hello. Um, I'm going to do one opening here as well. Well, it won't be typical for, for very long. I'm... To be honest, I'm I'm go I'm actually gonna change the the method, um, the mode or the method, however, of the stream going forwards. Like if you watch the last one, that was the first one. Today's one is a little bit different as well. I am talking to you a little bit more, you know, and I'm looking forward. Um, I'm looking forward to um, dropping my figure, whatever that means. I might. Let me get, get Grim and then we do one last one. I might have to drop my... Uh, I'll put my image in the... Like, you see me actually talk to you on the stream. That's what I want to do. Oops. <laughs> I have no boosters, so we're just going to run. I have no boosters, unfortunately. That's so weird. Really? And I can't. Okay, I was thinking I cannot hit. Um, wow, that's weird. I don't even have not even one booster. Sometimes I have the five-day booster. Sometimes one day, I don't even have any boosters at all. That's ridiculous. And when you don't have boosters, then you cannot really do a ton of damage, which is weird. Invite. Oh no. Let me get her. Yes, Vladimir, you got you got it. That's it. But you, it's not going to count now. Just give me, just let me play this one game. Um, so now, since we're three, I don't know if I'm boosting is going to help or not helping. I don't know. It does give you that five percent extra. I'll just go. Boosts help. It helps you survive, especially with the health. Um, when you don't boost and you play, it feels a little bit different. Your bots kind of die um, very suddenly. It's like the game is telling you, dude, you didn't boost. <laughs> As if that five percent, you know, made the difference. Well, I don't know with the, I don't know how the, um, I don't know how they uh, program the thing, but sometimes it, it really hurts you. It, it really like tells it, like telling you a story, like, dude. <laughs> It's like you forgot me. You didn't do this. You didn't do this. Oh no. Oh, I don't know. Okay, good thing Grim went forward. Okay, I see a Fafnir. Try looking for trouble. Well, we have three beacons. Ah, come on. I think I got this one. I was able to reset this guy's uh, course, but. I am not able. I am able to jump away again from him and draw them back. Well, I don't think we're able to keep center. We are not keeping center. I think we've lost center. Yeah, we've lost center. We lost. We did lose center. They are a squad, and it's gonna be a little bit challenging. Oh, no, get in there! Get in there! Get in there! I couldn't get in there. Shell. This shell is gonna learn a few things. 
some lens there too. A ton of blasts. Well, I killed him before he, he, he did any more damage. That's a Fenrir. They brought in a Fenrir to try and, uh, and they brought in a, sh a shell as well to hold on. And we are just trying to. Is the threat? And I that shell beneath. It's difficult. Okay, this guy is not seeming too much trouble from his eyes. Come on! Yep, that one person is gone. There's more of them. Unfortunately, I don't heal. <laughs> We're not coordinated, we're just three. We're with a ton of randoms. It's not like uh, we're six. So, even if I'm going for any other beacon, uh, the guys that are with me are not on the same page. <laughs> so, it's gonna be pointless. You can go for one another beacon if you're on the same um, team, you're coordinated, you know what you're doing. But if not, uh, it's pointless. If I'm moving, are they, do they know I'm moving and are they gonna drop? Do you understand? Are they gonna drop? Like if I get the beacon, are they gonna drop? They they aren't. So we're not we're not gonna be on the same page. So it's, it's gonna be pointless. So what you do is that attack because they'll they'll keep dropping. Like I said, if you want to do that kind of thing, people don't have to drop. You just have to wait, wait a little bit, and let you. Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks, GK. Yeah. So if they keep dropping, if they keep dropping, they're gonna bot out because those guys are just gonna, you know, keep dropping at that home beacon. To, you know, they're just gonna keep doubling down, and there's nothing you're gonna do. <laughs> so if they stop, then whoever has the chance, you know, then you go. if they drop and try to threaten you over there, then you drop and 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 try to take home at that time, at that point, and so you have a two-way fight. Solar. Bring in some Demeters, try and get to the other guy, split the game, split the map, and uh, you have a game. Now, uh, in the game now, <laughs> it's very difficult if the other team is a little bit coordinated, it's very difficult to come back down. So the best thing, you try to go for the advantage and hold it. Hope that you can hold it. I am jumping less and less more efficiently with this thing. So right now, uh, we have we have a troublemaker. See this guy? He's going to be able to kill him. Otherwise, um, I don't know what will have happened because we're, we're running with randoms. We're just three. Try that man. So I just got their home beacon and they didn't notice. <laughs> Maybe one person noticed. Now I got the home beacon and they're in trouble. If we start dropping from the center beacon, it's gonna be impossible for them because I have this beacon here. All I need to do now is to drop in with my shell and, uh, and hold from here. Just 
drop him in my shell and just do no no wait no, that's not fair now I should have dropped him with a shell to hold this one unfortunately I didn't bring the shell so I can't do anything and I, I can't leave this beacon because then he's gonna take it so I'm just uh, what do you call that kind of thing oh he's He's trying to go, pfft, he ran back. Oh my god. No, you're not gonna take it, man. It's gonna be... It's pointless. You're not gonna take the beacon. It's just gonna be a waste of time. He's, he's just gonna waste my time and I'm gonna waste his time. That's it. He cannot take the beacon. The beacon cannot change. If I was on a shell, I would be damaging him. And that's why the shells are... MVP, whether you like it or not, the shells are MVP in this game. Oof! That was quite some speed. <laughs> but still, I'm not gonna let him get the beacon. It's pointless for him. He can't hope to dash again back to the other beacon. Oh. It's a strider. So, that's what this guy did. Very, you know, the, what I was saying is what this Strider guy did. The Strider guy is uh, very good. He has, um, he understands the game. He was able to run in because he had the equipment to our back line and keep me back there. And so he gave his people a chance to fight. And you see, they got back that beacon. So he, he has, he has the right idea. But if you don't have the right robot, <laughs> there's nothing you can do. If you don't have a strider, you don't have the pilot skills. Um, you know, if people have three beacons, then then you have some super inhuman speed. Then I mean, there's nothing you can do. I'm not boosted. I don't want to run again without boost. It doesn't make any sense. I'll let these guys uh, go on a duel. Um, they'll, they'll they have the right to enjoy their game a little bit better. If you don't run boost, and then you you know they're relying on you, and then you're not performing. <laughs> to the way you're supposed to perform and that doesn't make any sense um, for me and Grim, Grim understands me so that's okay he can handle me not being on boost but now we're three so I don't want to let them down um, I'll start doing a little bit I'll be picking up on things that I feel that people should learn I don't know if there's there's this much that you can say per, uh, per video um, because of the content and there's not too much coming to look at it um, but I'll try and that's going to be um, how I'm going to be streaming going forwards. However it ends, I'll let it be. Uh, that's how it's going to be. Um, so I'm going to end this video now. Thank you guys so much for um, joining in. Um, I'm going to be giving out five crates. Um, I don't know, it's a phantom. No, it's not a phantom, it's, uh, it's a strider. It was a strider. So you can drop your comments now and uh, um, tell your friends to comment as well. If you can share the video, fantastic. Um, these are the drones I'm running, and I'll explain later. Thank you, Robert. I wish I could st uh, stream a lot, a lot longer, but I need you guys to drop your comments, and, and that's the point. I don't, I don't want people leaving and then forgetting to drop the comments. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. Cheers, and good luck on your uh, crate. Please don't, do not forget. Yeah, when the stream ends now, then you comment. Then it's gonna go into the comment section. All these comments are gone, like lost. I am when I wanna pick, I'm not gonna see any of these any of these comments. I'm not gonna see any of them. The comment picker is not gonna see any of them either. They are like embedded in the video. You know, we need a comment in the comments. Okay, so I'm gonna end the stream now. Do not forget to hashtag um, and do not forget to um, quote. Okay from the timeline. Thank you.